Okay, so we're in the Institute. Let's go and see what um, what Father wants from us. Nice. Automatic elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It is looks like she's got tag on. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. No, they're not a tag is. <laughs> Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. This is the only route I can take, isn't it? But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. Yeah, I'm off to show you. Sure. For your son. Is that him? Sean? Huh? Let's go first person. Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, it's it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, Daddy's Daddy's gone, but but I'm here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, please. Calm down. I'll get you out of there! Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. A surf. Fascinating, Nasty. but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. Come on. That's crazy. I assure you, I am completely sane and entirely honest. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. 
You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. It wasn't... It wasn't right. What they did, taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111, an infant. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, 
After all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done. Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? I just don't know. Just. Give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Well, okay. So, can you just imagine if this was uh, real? And you think that is your son, that's who you'd be looking for. It turns out it's a 60 year old bloke. Probably well, must be a dad. It's a bit messed up. Okay, let's um, go and meet these division leaders then. Yeah, that's definitely messed up. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. Oh my life, what's she wearing? primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Doc, oh, they weren't kidding. I don't know. You really are. Most of them have lasted well, long past well. their projected lifespans. If you ask me, you can think of me as the Institute's well. chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now. I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So. Now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here. Not like Topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Um, which options should I go for? Who built this place originally? Yeah. Let us know about the people in your division. I'm good for now. Must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. That's a good place to start. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. 
<laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. I can't argue with yeah, that. Yeah, right, I probably even don't. So, I'm ready to see the full but that synth strider FBY2 is All pretty set. scary to Unit, be fair. You can return to duty. Uh, one, two, three. Who are we going to go to next? Your synth? B146. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Yep, sure it is. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that like I intend to speak to Father identity. about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my cool. in the middle uh. of the night is totally... I'm seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. We're all together. looking forward to working with you. Pardon me, ma'am. What the hell are you wearing? Excuse me. Dr. Watson can be a little obsessive when it comes to rules and policies. Wow. There's enough friction as it is between Since us hot. and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results. Hey, Doc. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped Synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Who is it off? <laughs> well, come on. I hate to break it to you, but your Courser wasn't all that tough. Hmm. Then it's likely the unit was defective. It's rare, but faults can occur from time to time. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm no, good for there. now. Thanks. Very well. It's an honor to meet you, ma'am. Next 12 months. Hi. Man. Carry on, ma'am. Scary. <laughs> Who's next? Subject identified. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial. The dosage from Advanced Systems. Ooh. We have guns. That sounds good. She's been around for over two hours. What is she even asking? Nothing. At this point, she just... Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here, then. Yes, yes. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure that Father's very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our Hang work. On. Safety first. Remember oh. that. That was productive. So I should try again. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. 
You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Boo! I don't want one of those things anywhere near me. If you expect to be coming and going, you're gonna need one. You may have noticed that the relay is our only access to the surface. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Fair enough. Didn't really want to course a chip anyway. Is it true food supplement 77 has been discontinued that is correct so bioscience is the uh, the last head head of science we need to speak to you had panics i've been reviewing father's plans to expand our well, unless big cabbages <laughs> he's eager to get that go I, I wonder how the war family is doing so good to have you here young wally Dr. must be Clayton close Holder, to 10 years old by now head of the bioscience it's remarkable that i can't wait for you to see the work so we're doing there don't you think it's truly amazing like what i was just about to explain that as the name implies the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany genetics and medicine our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, We've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Uh, right now I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know, but it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. You mentioned medical care? I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. Okay, so looks like I finished one quest and started another. Uh, synth retention. This sounds like I've got to go and bring a synth back. Let's go and find Father and see what he's got to say for himself. Right, I've had a walk around, buddy. Now that you've had a chance Some. to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? Uh, first things first, how do I get back to the surface? I see my share of think tank science labs. Expect me to be impressed by a lot of fancy sci-fi gizmos. You'd be bleh. You get to, you've got technology here that I've never dreamed possible. It's amazing. First things first. First things first. How do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner here. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be dangerous without proper supervision. 
The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. What do you mean by proper supervision? I mean that while they are here in the Institute, fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed, our synths perform admirably. As you're about to see, however, they can become unpredictable when set loose. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Well, we met father, son, Sean, man of many titles and many names. We've spoken to all the heads of the departments, um, and now I need to decide on a course of action. Well, think of one anyway. So I'm going to follow the quest line through and go meet this courser and retrieve this synth. But with regards to joining the Institute, Remember uh, to practice good sanitation I think you might want to put some skin on. You're looking a bit bony. <laughs> it's Terminator 2, isn't it? Terminator. It'll be back. Sorry. So, I never side with the, with the Institute. I always side with one of the other factions on my playthrough. Maybe this time might be different, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. However, I think this is a good place to end this episode before we jump on to the next mission. Um, so yes, I appreciate you watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give my video a like, and if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Follow on for some more of my Fallout 4 playthrough. Um, I've got some uh, other content on my Good channel which you. may be interested in as well, like some Skyrim and some Valheim, as, as well as a couple of other bits and pieces. So yeah, until next episode, thank you for joining, and I'll see you again soon. Take care now. Good evening. Bye bye. Good evening. Maybe I should just shoot everyone. Do 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 do. <laughs>